Summer of extreme weather has shown the dangers posed by climate change, while the war in Ukraine has prompted worries about the UK's energy security. Today, the Prime Minister said it was important that Britain produces more of its own energy and announced that oil and gas drilling in the North Sea will be expanded. A hundred new licences will be issued this autumn, with more potentially to follow. Rishi Sunak says that domestic production will cut the carbon footprint of imported gas, but critics say he's back tracking on pledges to cut CO2 emissions. The government has also promised new funding for carbon capture projects. Our climate editor Justin Rowlatt reports. Powering up Britain from Britain is today's slogan. The more than 100 licences for companies to explore for and then drill to extract oil and gas are part of a plan to max out production from UK reserves. I'd say is it entirely consistent with transitioning to net zero that we use the energy we've got here at home because we're going to need it for decades, so far better for our economy, for jobs and for climate emissions that so we get it from here rather than shipping it from halfway around the world. But critics say it won't actually add to UK supplies. The North Sea oil and gas that he is helping to encourage is actually overwhelmingly exported. So 80% of the oil, and most of what's left in the North Sea is oil, goes to international markets and is sold there. So it's not helping us with our energy security and it's not helping to displace imports. It also risks adding to UK emissions, say many climate scientists and environmentalists. They argue the planet warming carbon dioxide from these new projects will breach the country's climate targets. So are carbon capture and storage projects part of the solution? Carbon capture and storage takes CO2 from the atmosphere or industrial plants like this gas-fired power station. When the gas is burned, the CO2 is separated out and then it's pumped underground to be stored in empty gas and oil reservoirs. The government has announced today it will fund a project at St Fergus on the northeast coast of Scotland and another on the Humber. It's already announced investment in plants on Teesside and on the Mersey. Now, none of these have been built yet and it will be many years before they'll be capable of trapping anywhere near the millions of tonnes of CO2 these new oil and gas fields will produce. But government advisers say the technology is vital to meet net zero targets.